One system that is designed to keep you out of accidents is your car's brakes. You run the risk of not stopping in time if your brakes aren't functioning properly. This is why having a spongy brake pedal should be concerning. You should never play around with a spongy or soft brake pedal. In this video, we discuss the sensation of a spongy brake pedal and demonstrate potential causes. Additionally, give you instructions so you can repair it. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Causes The most frequent reasons for a spongy or soft brake pedal are described in more detail below. Broken brake lines A broken line may have been one of the ways air entered the system. Steel tubing, which is used to make brake lines, is prone to rust and wear. Brake fluid will start to leak out when corrosion or rust causes a small hole to form. A spongy pedal results from hydraulic pressure being lost as fluid leaks out and air gets into the system. Air in brake lines No air should enter the brake system, which should remain sealed. Air can, however, become trapped in the brake lines, particularly after servicing. This issue prevents the fluid from properly circulating and results in a spongy pedal. It might be a good idea to change the fluid now if it hasn't already been done. You might need to bleed and flush the brake system to remove the air if service was recently performed. To keep all of the components lubricated and the brakes functioning as they should, it's crucial to make sure the system has clean fluid. Worn Calipers The element designed to clamp the brake pads against the rotors on the disc system is known as the brake caliper. They might corrode over time. Leaking can happen if the internal piston seal rusts. The brake pedal may become spongy or even fall to the floor if the brake caliper is leaking. If the seal can be changed and the problem is fixed, you don't always need to change the caliper. Brake shoes need adjustment. You might need to adjust the brake drums and shoes on your car. You should keep up with maintenance because some adjustments may become necessary as they wear. Additionally, you should occasionally use the parking brake. This easy action keeps the rear brake shoes adjusted and engaged. Failing wheel cylinders. The drum will rotate against the wheel if you have a drum brake setup. Brake shoes and the drum push against the drum with the aid of wheel cylinder pistons. To move the shoes into the drum and slow the wheels down, hydraulic pressure is required. However, corrosion in the wheel cylinder can result in fluid leaks, which lower the pressure. All that is left is a soft brake pedal. Bad master cylinder. One important element of the brake system is the master cylinder. In order to feed the brakes with enough hydraulic pressure and store brake fluid, it is necessary. However, over time, this component may also deteriorate and start to leak. The master cylinder addresses two different leak types. It's possible that you have an internal or external leak, which is typically brought on by a faulty piston seal. In either case, a reduction in hydraulic pressure results in a spongy brake pedal. Malfunctioning ABS Hydraulic Assembly If ABS is installed in your car, hydraulic unit known as the ABS modulator is also present. There are numerous valves and solenoids that could malfunction in this assembly. The valves may not open properly if the ABS control module experiences an internal failure, which would result in a spongy pedal. Additionally, it might interfere with the ABS. How to fix? Look for any brake fluid leaks and fix them if you find any in order to fix a soft or spongy brake pedal. Additionally, you should bleed the brakes and check that the brake shoes are adjusted correctly. The brake master cylinder and other brake parts need to be checked next. First, diagnose system. You must first identify the issue in order to choose the best solution. If the system contains air, proceed to step 2 and search for brake fluid leaks. The brake pedal must be completely sealed because even small leaks can make them spongy or soft. If not, the issue needs to be resolved by replacing the problematic parts. Visit a reputable repair shop in its place if you don't feel qualified to handle the diagnosis. Second, bleed brakes. If your diagnosis suggests that the brakes should be bled, the procedure isn't too challenging. As long as the manufacturer doesn't suggest otherwise, you can follow these general instructions. Place the car in a level spot. Lift the vehicle, then place it safely on jack stands. Remove the master cylinder's cap and use a vacuum pump or a turkey baster to drain the old fluid. Don't let the master cylinder become completely dry. Fill the master cylinder with fresh brake fluid. Keep the cap loose to allow for airflow. Which wheel needs to be bled first can be determined by consulting the service manual. Work must be done in a specific sequence, typically beginning with the wheel that is farthest from the master cylinder. The brake bleeder valve can be located. Normally, this tiny screw is located on the wheel cylinders of drum brakes and the brake caliper of disc brakes. To create a seal, connect your vacuum pump to the bleeder valve. Use a wrench to unlock the valve. Using a vacuum, remove the old fluid. Make sure the master cylinder hasn't run dry as the fluid bleeds out of the valve by checking it as it happens. Continue filling the master cylinder with fresh fluid. When there are no longer any bubbles and the liquid turns clear, you can stop. After closing the valve, proceed with the other wheels. 
Upon completion, you must confirm that the master cylinder is filled. Place the cap back on. Reverse the vehicle's descent to the ground with caution. Check to see if the brakes feel better by taking your car for a test drive. Now, they ought to be firm and devoid of any sponginess. Third, change defective parts. Before you fill the system back up, you should replace the appropriate hoses if the low fluid is the result of a leak. Any additional flawed components must also be changed. Whether the issue is with a bad master cylinder or faulty calipers, your diagnostics ought to have assisted you in identifying the issue. Follow the steps outlined in the service manual if you can make the repair yourself. And last, visit mechanic. You should get professional assistance if you encounter any difficulties or if you don't feel prepared to handle them. Even though some of these steps appear straightforward, it is never a good idea to attempt something you are unfamiliar with. Your on-road safety depends on your brake system. You should therefore refrain from tampering with anything you lack the necessary experience for. You must act right away if your brakes start to feel spongy. Low fluid levels or leaks are typically to blame. In order to keep everyone secure and safe, you must address the issue before getting back on the road. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.